I am here at Mike and Gary's grave. Look at all the flowers. Hi, Gary. Hi, Mike. God, I miss you guys. This is little Tyler. I know Mike remembers him. Marcus is here too. Somebody left Mike a water. Here. Okay, guys, we are at Mike and Gary's grave, and we are going to the EVP to see if they want to communicate with us. I'm headed to my mom and dad's grave now, and we're going to do some EVPs there. So we'll see you when we get there. Peace. I am going to Kitten's father's grave, my friend Kitten, and I'm going to see if the note is still there that I left on her dad's grave. I believe it's right here. And the note is still there. Flowers are a little dingy. I should have brought some flowers. The note's still there. So she's never found it. I wish I knew if she was still alive or if she's around. I'm still looking. I'm not giving up, guys. Okay, I'm walking up to my mom and dad's grave. That's mom and daddy's grave. Hello. Hi, mom and daddy. Joseph and Betty. I sure miss you. Mm -hmm. It sucked growing up without parents. I was 20. I was 21 when they passed away. I had just had a baby, which was Angie, Marcus and Tyler's mom. And I just, I lost my mind. I went crazy. I was mama's baby and it just wasn't fair. It's not fair. I grew up my whole early 20s, you know, all the way up to now without parents. I know this wind's probably getting in here. But it sucked not having parents. Can you still see? Yep. Look how beautiful. And then the American flag. I got that for, I think that was for Valentine's Day. And I just put a bird there. So let's do some EVPs and see if Mom and Daddy have anything to say. Mom and Daddy, you can talk into this box and talk to me. Let me set it back up. Put the wind muff back on it. I am sitting in the heat. Mama and Daddy, are you here? It's your baby girl, Marie. Oh, missed it. Hi. I miss you. I felt like I was robbed of parents. It doesn't seem fair to me. Mama, when I had surgery in Maryland, was that you there? The doctor said that I had was talking to my mother the whole time I was in, in surgery, unconscious. Was that you, Mama? When I had the bad reaction to the morphine, was that you scratching my head?
Did you see what color they painted your, our house that we owned when you was alive? What color's the house? Okay, well, that was a little emotional. I miss my mom and dad so much. It just doesn't seem fair that I grew up in my 20s with no parents. I left my family and moved away. Because I couldn't handle it. I couldn't handle the fact of not having parents. I thought I was doing the right thing. Every year I wanted to move back. I never got to move back for 29 years. I'm happy that I'm back. I miss my kids though. They didn't come with me. All right, well, I'm going to go. Peace, everyone. I love you. Bye, Mom and Daddy. I love you. I miss you guys so much. Okay, so that got a little emotional. Um, I just miss my parents a lot. So We're headed home. I'll see ya. Peace. So this was Mama and Daddy's room, and they opened it up into a master suite. And this was my my little room, right this here. Was the only okay. bathroom. <laughs> Go that way. The and then the bathroom. Well, I'm not gonna turn the light on. She's nice enough to let me in her house. And then my sister's room was. This was all closed in. And this was Patty's room. Oh my gosh, Patty's gonna be so jealous. And yeah. the kitchen. Now it seems like there was a, the room was here, so the kitchen, we had to just come yeah, through, right? Yeah, there was right? a pantry here and a wall. Wow. I am so excited. This was a bedroom over here. This was a bedroom over here. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was my sister's bed. And then we just had windows going out back. We didn't have yeah. your addition. Yeah, there was a door, I think. Can I walk in there? Yeah, go ahead. There was a door here, I think, so we made it into a little pantry. Yeah, there was a door that went out in the backyard. Yeah, this was all, this was all. Oh, see, Glenda and John did this, too. Yeah. Glenda and John opened yeah, theirs up. Yeah, next door, they just have a big room at the back of that house. Yeah. That house, you know what? That house Oh, is, look at that. That house is going into the foreclosure. Yeah. It's been owned by the bank, and it's been empty for over a year. Oh, you built a bunch. Yeah, we built two this more This is bedrooms. all add-ons. So it's still three bedrooms. Wow. Rockets. I love it. I'm in my house that I grew up in, guys. Yeah. So this work is in too progress. cool. Doing the floors if you decide that. to sell, tell Glenda how much and let me know. Okay. I would love to move back in my mama's house. The house next door is uh, owned by the bank. It's been empty for quite a while. Which one is it? Which that way? This one near you. Yeah. Really? They need to do something with it. It's gonna. It's gonna be leaking and everything. Aww. And then the backyard. Have chickens. You have chickens. Aww. Yeah. And they come to visit us. <laughs> That is too cool, our backyard. It was just plain because I had to mow the grass and it was a lot bigger because the addition wasn't on there. Yeah, and um, they didn't have any plants back here. Oh, I like your little chicken coop. You let them run <laughs> the yard? Yeah. Oh, that's range, but I got oh they're right the here. Just, just Look at her chickens. Right now. Look at the little chicken chickens. Coop, yeah. go get my oh, okay. Come on. Where's the chicken coop? We can't stay, we can't outstay our welcome. I am so excited that we got to come in here. This is like the coolest thing. Yeah, because I think the garage door was right here. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and the pantry was over here. I'm trying I to think the refrigerator went next to the pantry. I was going to say the refrigerator wasn't there either. 
So mama and daddy's house. We built this house. That was our back door at one time. Oh, I am just, yeah, it was. I am so excited. This is too cool. Can I open the garage door? Oh, yeah, go ahead. It's a mess. I don't care. I'm not worried about no mess. Oh, good. The dog's out there. It's okay. Come on in. You know, when we were kids, we had the garage door open, and some man came in, and he drugged my sister down the hallway, and I guess he was going to try to rape her or something. He drug her down the hallway, and he drug her in the bathroom, and my mom hit him, and he ran out the door, and the man's still in prison. So, somebody broke in? Some man came through the garage door came in this way and drug my sister I'm down the hall anything. into that bathroom. My mom come out of her bedroom oh and hit him with something and he took off out the door, but they identified him. I don't know how they identified him, but they identified him. He's still in prison. Oh, and wow. every time he comes up for an appeal, my sister gets a notice and he's never gotten out. Oh, wow. he must have done some other stuff too. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm sure he did. He, 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 was, yeah. he had raped other people. And that's oh, yeah. probably what he would have did to yeah. her had my mom not... You know, got out, woke yeah. up, and come out there, and oh my God. yeah, he come right through that garage door. But we had the garage door wide open. I always think, know. yeah, I, my husband used to do that. He'd go out there and work and leave the door open. Mm -hmm. and Got a couple people driving by taking pictures. It so might they, be me. They come by later and scope it oh. out. Oh no, there was there was a guy walking one day. Oh there. really? He was taking pictures. I've been yeah, by. They do that stuff, and then they come by later and rob you. Ooh, I've been by in a green minivan. And in the white, um, my oh, yeah. sister's well, white car. Stop. I mean, and I, I, I stop and take pictures ago. a lot just because it's, yeah. I, I lived 1,100 miles away, but yeah. now I live here. Somebody in a van came by when my husband was still alive. Cool. They grew up in an old farmhouse up in Wisconsin. I'm kind of hoping they'll let me go in and take pictures. Oh, I hope so, too. It. You're so yeah. sweet for letting me Thank come you. in here and just, okay, just no feel like home. Oh, my gosh. So kind of neat to go back to where you grew up. It, it really is. It really is. I hope that when you go up there that they let you go in. Yeah. You know I hope so. You know everything looks smaller now? When we grew up... We grew up <laughs> buddy! Just, go! It's, oh, it's all right. It's okay. We're going to go. We're going to get out of your hair. What is wrong with you? Give me a hug and thank you so much for oh, coming. Oh, you're welcome. Thank uh -huh. you so much. What was your name? Marie. Marie. Okay.